If you're doing a triathlon, you should swim and bike and run to train for it, obviously. But what if you didn't? What if you did a triathlon on run fitness alone? Before we even begin, I'm gonna start by saying I'm not advocating this. If you're gonna do a triathlon, you should make a concerted effort to get some swimming and biking training in for your triathlon. Don't do it on run fitness alone. But I didn't, uh, for a variety of reasons, which don't really matter. The point is, I found myself committed on the start line of a 113 kilometer triathlon with only my run fitness to get me through it. Now I can hear all of your keyboard warriors going already, but you're an ex-pro, you've got residual fitness, you'll be fine. And that is true to a certain extent. But for a long time now, I've been retired and I haven't done any swimming or biking. And uh, we all know how fitness works. If you don't use it, you lose it. I have been working on my run fitness lately. Since an injury in May, I've been steadily building up my mileage and I'm feeling pretty run fit. But what we're gonna find out now is if I'm run fit, will the swim and bike destroy my legs and render that run fitness insignificant? Or will that run fitness come good and I will feel great on the second half of the triathlon? There's only one way to find out. In the last two and a half years or so since I've retired, I've swum about mm, probably less than 20 kilometers. And that was my weekly mileage as a pro on a bad week. I actually tried to add it all up, a two kilometer at the Scrail Triathlon, five kilometers at the Hokey Cokey Swim Run, four kilometers of the Frog Graham Round, and a few of swim shoots. And that's about it. No swim training sessions, not even one. This swim was going to be challenging. I've been invited to Uzbekistan to compete in the inaugural Challenge Samarkand. Okay, just out of an abundance of caution, I'm gonna make sure I can actually still swim. Well, I survived the swim. Good news, I can still swim. However, I think I'm gonna be uh, looking forward to the swim being over on race day. Not for the first time in my career. A long time since I did one of these, actually. So, I'm not nervous, I'm just kind of like, a little apprehensive. As you'd expect, this was a bit of a shock to the system. I felt great to start, but my arms fell off about 200 meters in, and then I just had to slog it out. The halfway point turn seemed a lot further than I remember it. In fact, the whole 1.9 kilometers felt a lot longer, as was reflected in my time. But I made it through, not completely unscathed. It took more out of me than I would have liked. So the swim is over and onto the bike. A few crimps, actually, at the back end of that swim and uh, going through transition. Nothing too serious. Clearly just from, uh, well, not being used to the position and swimming and uh, maybe the temperature and uh, yeah. Doesn't bode well for later on in the race. If I'm already cramping as I get on the bike, but I'm sure I can spin them out on the bike. Won't be a problem. Sure it won't be a problem. I mean, I'm run fit, aren't I? This is a good course for going fast. I'm not sure about my legs for that particular purpose. I'm less than 20 k's in to the bike ride here. And I've discovered, well, this is probably the most predictable outcome of not doing any swim or bike training for a triathlon. I don't seem to be able to stay in my aerobars very comfortably. My position, which I would have said is not very aggressive, feels very aggressive when you haven't been in it for a few months and uh, really tighten me up. Unfortunately, this is a course that wants you to stay in your bars pretty much the whole time. It's gonna be a long day. For some reason, my bike has dropped down into the small chain ring and it won't get out. I don't know whether I killed the battery on the flight over here or what. It was charged. 
but now this is what I find myself doing with. Try smile for the photographers, and it's the only thing I get right today. All right, so coming up to the end of the bike course now. I have survived it. I have completed the swim, very nearly completed the bike. And uh, now it's just the run to go. So the million dollar question, will the run legs still be there when I swim and bike? I think perhaps my day might have been saved actually by the fact that my gears weren't working because I was forced to spin a little bit and ease it up a little bit. And I'm not sure if I had maintained the pace I did for the first 30 Ks, I would uh, be feeling quite so comfortable right now. However, my legs are tired. I can definitely feel the lack of bike fitness. I can also, in my shoulders and low back, feel the lack of time in the bike position. That too may, I may pay the price for that on the run. Time to find out. Just started the run. Feeling pretty good actually. Lack of brick sections. Not paying for that at all. Who needs brick sections? About two thirds of the way through the run. Not feeling as good as I did at the start, that has to be said. But I'm not feeling bad. Got a good rhythm. Still moving well. I think I feel better now than I did second half of the bike, so. Maybe my legs are coming good. Bit of drafting going on, boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they promised me the next lap how I can draft off them. Last lap. We get done. Keep going, keep going. So, about 1k to go. Pretty sure I'm gonna make it now. Despite not doing any swimmer bike training. So, I guess that's the conclusion. You can make it. I uh, will uh, go back to the studio, I think, and sit down with my fellow presenter and uh, crunch the numbers, discuss everything I've learned here today. I've had a lot of fun today. Really enjoyed this whole triathlon. But I'm 100% certain that I would have enjoyed a lot more if I'd done a bit of swimming bike training before I just started. Let's go soak up that finish line. Well, James, the dust has settled, a few weeks have passed by. As you've said already, you've enjoyed the day out, it was good fun, would have maybe benefited a little from some swim and bike training. Yeah. What did you go through then out there? Uh, to be honest, the whole day was significantly longer than I remember a middle distance <laughs> triathlon being. Like, it did seem to drag a little bit, as you would expect if you're not really fit enough forwards and I went through some bad patches. It wasn't all smooth sailing and I probably didn't pull the camera out for them as much as I probably should it's have. It's always the case yeah, though, isn't it? exactly. It's easy to pull it out when you're feeling good and you think I should film this, but uh, not so much when you're going through bad patches, but less bad patches than I thought I was gonna have actually. It, was, it wasn't an unenjoyable day. I quite enjoyed my time out there. Uh, you actually mentioned to me that you cramped during the swim, which is a bit worrying very early on. Did yeah. you think it was all over from then on? I did. Well, I cramped as I was coming out the water yeah. and it was like as I changed position, all the, my calves cramped just as I was the last couple of hundred meters of the swim. And I was like, yeah, I was actually seriously worried. Like I, I've seriously messed up here. I'm going to 
travel all the way to Uzbekistan. <laughs> it's a long way to go. For... <laughs> and I'm going to DNF at the end of the swim and not even get on the bike. And uh, Yeah, but uh, I think it was just kind of like, I mean, it was lack of swim training, wasn't it? I hadn't been in that position and I I was uh, holding, you know, you're holding your toes pointed for that long and your calves start, oh, yeah. your arches start going and stuff. Uh, so... Once I got onto the bike and the legs started pumping, the blood started pumping, they did ease up and it wasn't a problem. Okay. But yeah, I mean, there was a moment of, of, of worry there. I was going to say, was it a case of, at that point, you, you going through your mind, being conservative and just get through this thing? Um, yeah, in, I mean, that was the plan from the beginning. The swim okay. was conservative. I didn't, I didn't push at all. I didn't like go and try and stay on certain feet or anything. I like, I just cruised through the swim, okay. knowing very much that I was not fit enough for it. On the bike, that was also the plan, but I'm not gonna lie. Those roads were super smooth. They were closed roads and you kind of just, your speed just crept up and crept up and crept up and eventually you're going like 47, 48 Ks now and just absolutely flying and you've cranked into a big gear and you're just like, I am cruising now, this is great. Um, so I probably got a little bit carried away in the early part of the bike and I'm, I'm pretty grateful actually that my gears messed up yeah, because if they hadn't, if my gears hadn't stopped and I'd been, then had forced to spin my legs and slow down a little bit, I had to take a few pauses when you're going too fast to even spin your legs. Uh, I think it would probably be in a crater somewhere in Samarkand <laughs> where I blew up about 60, 70 k's into that bike. <laughs> uh, well, moving on to the run then, obviously this is the bit that you kind of trained for, you a run fit. How did that feel or was it was it as you expected? Did you feel great or was it actually not as great as you? Uh, I mean, it wasn't like a standard long run that I'd done in training. Mm. There was definitely some fatigue going into it at the start. But actually, I didn't feel as bad as I thought I might. I didn't, like, it didn't take that much out of me. Once I got running, I was good. The, the one thing I did struggle with, which I didn't really cover in the video at all, was I, um, I struggled with the nutrition a little bit. Like I hadn't practiced I haven't practiced eating on the bike and drinking on the bike and keeping the levels up. And I, I just kind of forgot quite a few times I didn't drink enough and I had to really focus on that. And I'd have paid a little bit of the price on the run. Like I was getting to aid station going, oh crap, I haven't had anything for a while. Like I need to, I need to dig in my pockets and get a gel out now. And um, so I had a bit of an energy roller coaster because of that. And that was just pure race staleness, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't, hadn't practiced that, so. So there you have it. You can do it. You can do a triathlon purely on run training. Um, as you sort of suggested, maybe would have benefited and enjoyed it a little bit more with some swim. Yeah, and bike I'd train. say if you have the option, do some swim and bike training. You'll have a lot more more fun out there and a lot less stressful because there was, as I said, coming out the water, there was a fair amount of anxiety going through my day that I I might just not make it all the way through this. Uh, obviously, looking back now, I did make it. But if you have the option. Do some swim and bike training and you will have a lot more fun day out. Uh, but you can get through it on run training alone. Well, there we go. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I think James is now off to swimming pool, aren't you? Get some swim training in for your next triathlon. Yeah, I really should. But no, let's be honest, I'm probably not going <laughs> to.